Tucked away in an inconspicuous little diner in South Korea lives a man who is known as the God of Blades. The man made it look easy, slicing the sushi with a few swift cuts. Each piece is thin as a cucumber slice, neatly arranged in rows, but this is merely the appetizer. Ingredients transform into lifelike little animals in his hands. Guests are astonished by Hyunwook's knife skills. They gaze at the culinary art before them, almost too compassionate to take a bite. In his spare time, he can even craft a gift for his customers. Hyungwook's masterful knife skills instantly turn this modest diner into an internet-famous eatery. But Hyungwook is not a chef. He is South Korea's number one assassin. A few days ago, to evade the police manhunt, Hyungwook took refuge in a public bathhouse. But fate played a trick. A bar of soap, coming from nowhere, shot out and slid right under Hyungwook's feet. While Hyungwook was unconscious, someone switched the key to his storage locker. Thus, Hyungwook was sent to the hospital with someone else's belongings. Upon waking up, Hyungwook discovered he had amnesia, completely unable to remember who he was, and also had no money to pay for his hospital bills. Fortunately, Lena, who had taken him to the hospital, was right by his side. Upon learning of Hyungwook's amnesia and lack of funds, she took on the responsibility of his medical expenses. She even drove Hyungwook home. On the way, Lena asked Hyungwook how old he was this year. Hyungwook, glancing at his hospital admission slip, said uncertainly, I am 32 years old this year. Lena was somewhat surprised. Upon arriving at Hyungwook's house and opening the door, they found the place in disarray, with trash strewn all over. Hyungwook was doubtful, is this really my place? He seemed to be someone with a penchant for cleanliness. Hyungwook quickly got to work and tidied up the house. The entire home was transformed, looking brand new. He also began to note down his circumstances in a notebook. My name is Hyunwook. I am 32 years old, and I have 2001 in savings. Since he couldn't remember anything, he decided to go out and ask the neighbors, but the neighbors completely ignored him. Later on, he encountered a thuggish neighbor who immediately became aggressive towards Hyunwook. Hyunwook reacted with a defensive reflex. <laughs> Am I really this skilled in combat? Moreover, Hyungwook discovered he had an exceptional talent with knives. Just in time, Lena's family restaurant was in need of a chef. So they asked Hyungwook to help out in the kitchen, for a top assassin. Becoming a chef was a piece of cake. Hyungwook's knife skills quickly drew in countless admirers. Lena's family restaurant became an internet sensation. Thus, Hyungwook became the chef of the restaurant. Until one day, Hyungwook discovered a schedule on the calendar for shooting a film at a specific location. So, he was an actor. But clearly, he had no talent for acting. He couldn't handle the pain when he was hit. And when it was his turn to hit others, he struck too forcefully. When he tried to play a soldier, his lack of coordination led to his immediate dismissal by the director. Yet, Hyungwook did not give up. He began to train in acting. He purchased a book and studied it carefully. He earnestly honed the basic skills of an actor. Opportunity soon knocked again. One day, the director set up a fight scene. Hyungwook was to play the role of a mob boss's henchman. Unexpectedly, not only were Hyungwook's movements sharp and clean, but his acting was also impeccable. The director was very pleased, and Hyungwook shot to fame with that performance. Because of his impressive martial arts moves, Hyungwook attracted a large number of fans. The director, seizing the opportunity, wrote more scenes for him, and Hyungwook's acting career started to flourish. He also began a romance with the charming Lena. But one evening, as Hyungwook was driving home, the music playing in the car triggered a flood of familiar images in his mind. In a flash, Hyungwook remembered that he was not an actor, but a hitman. Rushing back to his house, Hyungwook found it in disarray. After checking the surveillance footage, he discovered that someone had been living his life using his identity, and the story traces back to a man named Jason, who no longer wanted to live. Before planning to end his life, Jason decided to take a bath to wash away the body odor. In the bathhouse, he encountered Hyungwook, a man with an expensive watch and wallet clearly someone with money. While bathing, Jason accidentally slipped a bar of soap under Hyungwook's feet, causing him to faint. Seeing Hyungwook's dropped keys, Jason was tempted by a crooked idea. 
he switched his own keys with those of Hyunwook. After accessing Hyunwook's locker, he transformed into a wealthy man. After acquiring the money, he went to see his landlord, paid off all his past due rent, and even went as far as to prepay the rent for an entire year. Then, taking out the key and pressing it, a luxury car responded to the Cigna. Overjoyed, he used the money to pay off all his debts. Jason, now tempted by vanity, decided to use the luxury car to impress the girl he liked. But even with these material possessions, he felt a sense of emptiness because none of it was truly his. The vanity achieved with someone else's belongings couldn't change the reality of his own unsuccessful life. Jason gathered the items and went to the hospital, intending to return them to Hyunwook, but was unexpectedly met with the revelation that Hyunwook had lost his memory. <laughs> Jason felt a secret joy he could not be blamed for not returning the items since Hyunwook didn't remember them. Driving the luxury car and following the navigation, Jason arrived at Hyunwook's house. Upon opening the door, he was astonished. The place was like a palace, complete with a hidden safe room. Then he discovered the cash in the cookie tin more money than he had ever seen in his life. Intrigued by Hyunwook's real identity, Jason saw clues in the safe room by scrutinizing the various badges on the wall. He deduced that Hyunwook must be a police officer working undercover to protect someone named Unju. Now that Hyunwook had lost his memory, Jason wondered if Unju might be in danger. Looking at Unju's photo, Jason felt that he could protect her. Monitoring the cameras, he found out that Unju lived upstairs. He started creating coincidental meetings to get close to Unju and gave her small gifts to win her heart. With the vulnerable and lonely Unju finding companions, in Jason, their relationship began to blossom, they advanced from watching movies and dining out to confirming their status as a couple, but one night, the phone in the safe room rang, Jason answered cautiously, only to be asked by the caller why he hadn't completed his mission, confused, but intrigued by the offer of more money, Jason agreed to meet, no one had ever seen Hyunwook's face, it was rumored that all who had were dead, so no one doubted his identity, instead, they were terrified of him. Even a mere act of removing sunglasses could startle them. However, during the conversation, Jason realized something was amiss. It turned out Hyungwook was not a police officer but a hitman. Jason, angered by the truth, sought to reveal the truth to Unju during dinner, but at that moment, Hyungwook showed up. <laughs> Jason clung to Hyunwook's legs, urging Unju to escape, but Unju was not scared. Instead, she confronted Hyunwook, demanding to know why he had only now appeared. It was revealed that Hyunwook, after receiving a mission, would find the target and collaborate with them to fake their death, deceiving the client before helping the target flee the country, and this time, the target was Unju. During the time Hyunwook had lost his memory, Jason had been impersonating him and had met with the client. Now the client had found out about Jason's romance with Unju and decided to send another group of hitmen to save both Jason and Unju. Hyunwook decided to put on an elaborate act. He disguised himself as a new hitman and called the client. Then, he familiarized Jason and Unju with the location and the props, detailing the plan they intended to carry out. Fearing unforeseen complications, he decided to break up with Lena to ensure her safety. The stage was set for the final act. Jason took Unju hostage and, in front of the client, he staged a stabbing. As Unju struggled, Jason delivered another stab. After this act, Jason informed the client that the mission was complete and they could leave. The client, having never witnessed such a scene, was too scared to speak. Then Hyunwook appeared on the scene, engaging in a staged fight with Jason. They were supposed to end it by pretending to kill each other. However, just at that moment, Lena burst in. Hyunwook pretended not to recognize her and told her to leave. But Lena protested, bringing up intimate moments they had shared. Refusing to back down, Hyungwook had to pull her aside to explain, but she wouldn't listen, risking the exposure of their plan. Seeing the situation becoming critical, Hyungwook signaled to Jason, and Jason pretended to stab Hyungwook. Jason pushed the people to the predetermined spot, and Unju, who was hiding, activated the switch. <laughs> Hyungwook tightly covered Lena's mouth to keep her silent. The client, seeing the blood and believing the hitman had killed each other, quickly left the scene. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief, knowing that they would no longer be pursued. On their way back, Hyungwook explained everything to Lena, asking for her forgiveness and promising to leave the hitman life behind.
Jae Sung, after going through this ordeal, found renewed hope in life.